before we get into coding of pointers, let us understand how your program is allocated memory while you know running it. Let's say you run a simple program like just to print hello world. So that's a starting program for uh, any developer to run, right? So now, how does your operating system know where to store what? And the instructions of your program, right? the main method or uh, you know, uh, C out or print, all these, where are they stored? How does your running application know that this is the instruction to be executed next? If you have declared a variable inside your program, where does it fetch from? In memory. Right? So it's a, it's a huge RAM, right? You have 16 GB RAM and how much memory is allocated for your application. And there are any given time, there are many applications running on your uh, laptop. Now, so understanding of the memory layout of your application helps to understand the pointers concept significantly. Well, so how does it work? Now, if you take your memory, so it is there is always a block allocated for you. Right? So if you think this is the uh, block that is being allocated for you while running your application, that is entire in your 16 GB, there is a reserved memory that is taken out and for the rest of the application. So every application has, let's say, uh, 1 MB of memory. In this 1 MB of memory, now what is uh, there for you? You have at the bottom a st stack, right? So, and then on top of it, you have heap. Above this, you have static. Above this, you have your data. And finally, your code section. This is how your programs are organized in memory so that you will understand. Let us get into each one. What is stack? This is used to store your local variables. What do we mean by local variables? So you have int a, like inside a block, right? Inside a block, you have declared int a. Now this a is a local variable. This a is stored on stack. Well, now heap memory. This memory contains all your dynamically allocated memory. That is, A in this example, where which is stored on the stack, is never going to be increased or decreased. Right? So, what do I mean by that? Int A typically 4 bytes. So, those 4 bytes remain 4 bytes until the lifetime of your program. You're getting it. Now, when you declare dynamic memory, that is where the pointers come in, but we will discuss more uh, in detail. So, for example, int star ptr is equal to new, right? So, int of you want to have 10 bytes. So, you can declare this. Now, this can dynamically grow or shrink. Now, that this part, the PTR, cannot be stored on the stack section of your memory, but it has to be stored on heap section, which is designed and dedicated to dynamically increase or decrease your memory. Well, so that is your heap section about dynamical, dynamic memory. Now, the static part. Static part is a memory uh, that is allocated for global and static variables. What do I mean by global and static variables? So global variable, as the name says, that you can access that particular variable anywhere within your program. So here, if you take the example of int a, you cannot access this int a beyond this curly braces. Now, if that is a global variable, right, int g, and inside this, you can access g. If you open another block, you can open g, you can access g here also. So that's a global variable. Now static variable is also accessible and it retains the previous value until the program exits. So this memory section is dedicated for global and static variables. Then you have data section. 
So this data section that stores the global and static data of the program, it is separate from the code memory and can be read and modified by the program. Well, now moving on to what is code? This memory that stores the instructions of the program, it is read only and cannot be modified by the program. That is, whatever the program you have written, like main method, int and all that, that will be stored here in the code. And once it is running, you cannot change during the runtime. And the data is the actual data that is your program uses, where, where you will utilize this during the runtime of your application. This is about your memory layout. Now once you have understood this, what happens? So when you write a simple program and that program goes and stores in which section of the memory, you will be able to understand it easily. Well, so this gives you an introduction of memory layout of a running program. Where is your uh, local variable stored, where are your dynamic memory stored and where is your static and uh, global variable stored, where is your actual program data stored and where are your instructions of the program stored which are not modifiable. Now do understand these five sections are common across you know, any platform you take. And now once you understand this memory layout, the next part is understanding the pointers. Now pointers, as you see, typically they go and reside on heap because pointers are usually dealt uh, for dynamic memory allocation and deallocation, like increasing the memory dynamically, decreasing the memory dynamically. Well, so we will cover more and more on this in uh, upcoming episodes. So today you have understood the memory layout and where and in which section of the memory what data is stored.